biases to deal with. We know we have got biases to deal with, our assumptions, our beliefs, our attitudes, our expectations, our intentions. We know we've got emotions to manage. So we definitely know we have these to impact on the way we listen. We know that listening is fundamental to be an effective communicator. So tell me. The solution is with you. You can always control part of the outcome or influence the outcome. How? How will you do that? Let's be a little bit more specific. So you, you're aware, how will you do that? So let's start with a little practice. So can I have people in pairs, please? People in pairs. I can have a conversation with somebody as well. I don't mind. Oh, you got a threesome. Yeah, well, yeah, three people can get together. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Diksha, I do apologize. In the context of business, guys. <laughs> so you have one group of three and two pairs, okay? So for the next five minutes, what I'd like you to do, you're very welcome to go outside as well. I'll come and collect you guys. What I want is a conversation. Have a conversation. It can be about anything. It can be about work. It can be about anything. Don't be aware of, oh, you know, this is role play. But I want you to be aware of the thoughts in your mind as you're having that conversation. The thoughts that are playing in your mind as you're having that conversation. So have a conversation, have fun, but just be aware of the machinations in this little box here. Sorry. Were you able to observe what's going on in your mind? Kind of, yeah. Mine's no. difficult, yes. so I had to keep bringing myself back to it. Sorry? I had to keep bringing myself back to it. Back to your thoughts? Yeah. Why? You kind of lose track just going on with a conversation. Conversation, okay, mm -hmm. that's good, that's fine. So you found yourself in the moment having the conversation. I'm a bloke, I'm you know, stereotypically not meant to speak with a multitasking, so being aware of what was going on and... Um, I didn't say that, you yeah, Okay, yeah. all right. You're all thinking. Okay, <laughs> anybody prepared to share what they... Were you, were you able to observe the thoughts that were going through your mind when you're having a conversation? Oh, that's all, oh, that's all. Yeah? So, uh, I think the benefit of Agni and I, we share um, active, active sport, mm. good nutrition in common, so we were just talking about how we make it fit in our lives. But I remember at first, I mean... Oh, you've got really pretty earrings. I've got earrings down. Really pretty because I was looking at your earrings. Oh, they're really pretty. And I'm like, yeah, your hair's nice. And I was looking at her, and then of course we just got completely absorbed in the conversation. And then I, I was trying as we were getting more engaged. I was trying to throw, look in my head to throw more examples into the conversation. Okay. So I was, I was almost splitting my thoughts and think, what can I now bring into that conversation? Which is when you lose track mm -hmm. of yes. hear, the understanding of what she's seeing, you hear it, you don't quite absorb. So there's a few bits that I missed, probably. And thinking, oh no, bring, stop thinking about what I'm going to say next. Yes. And just listen. Okay. All right, that's interesting. You're trying to be mindful. That is good. Yes. Any, any other sharing from this group? Oh, well, as on the new board of the company. Oh. <laughs> in a sense. Um, it sort of goes back to what we were saying about um, seating arrangements, about the communication not being observed. And because this is possibly the first time we've done a one-to-one -one out of context or business discussion, so I was just saying to uh, Emily, I've noticed how beautiful her colour eyes are, which I've never noticed before because it's always to do a work passing desk. And then how Carefully beautiful this off. man is too. <laughs> <laughs> You're surrounded by beauty, Jason. I'm surrounded yes. by beauty. Um, but on the other end of the spectrum, uh, mm -hmm. you know, we're talking about hairdressers. Yes. And I noticed that it was the men talk about hairdressers, not the ladies. Interesting conversation of yes. being bald head and a long hair on okay. that spectrum. And, but still having the same outcome that it's a personal thing. Hairdresser, having a good hairdresser, is very personal. Um, and how far we went to travel to get it done. Uh, but it, it, it was interesting that in that five minutes that we had, yes. I probably learned more, which is basically what I was trying to say about when you're new coming into a place of, of new people. New people. It's interesting to find more about your work colleagues than yeah. what I've done before. So in that five minutes, I probably learned a lot, a lot more of them more. than I've done six weeks that I've been here. That's interesting. Because it's all about work normally, not about, you know, yeah. you know this thing. So now you see, interesting. with respect, I'd like to point out that your mindset would be quite different to the mindset of the other people who have already stayed, have mm. been in this company, because you are now eager to find out information about what everybody else, 
of of your fellow people. I'm a very nosy person. You're a nosy person, as it <laughs> Okay, right. I always like to know that. Okay. So, essentially, the judgments or your biases weren't playing coming in at that time because you were receiving, you were really keen to receive that information. So, perhaps mm -hmm. you were in a, a very positive frame of mind because you wanted to know your fellow. And it's interesting because I was wondering about long hair. I was wondering what Jason is thinking about Alan's long hair. Jealousy, wishing. Yeah, well, there you go. This is it. So, there were your emotions there. So, that, that's interesting.